Thomas, I don't got all day here. Let's get a move on. People are scared. We need to get this one. Follow me. Body's this way. Ugh, I'm getting too old for this. You gotta crouch to get under the tape. Come on, let's go. Body's rotten as we speak. The patrolman on duty said there was a mannequin involved, just like the matchmaker. Old damn city's crawling with sick killers. Why do they always have to kill in such maggot-infested dumps? Why can't they pick a nice spot without addicts and gang members for once? Some place not so damn dark. Jesus H! Nearly shot the bastard! Whew. Come on, this place is creeping me out. Your stupid car broke my light. Better turn yours on. I hear you're afraid of the dark. here. FBI on the scene. Over and out. Copy that. Agent Thomas, this is Officer Becker. Becker found the body on patrol. Agent? Thomas. Hello, Thomas. This is Lieutenant Rosa. I'm your lab tech again on this one. Our wireless data transfer system enables you to investigate and collect evidence at the scene of the crime and transmit it to me for analysis. When I have results, I'll contact you via your cell phone. All right, let's get to work. Let's start by determining the cause of death. When your instincts tell you evidence is nearby, prepare a forensic tool. The system will select the correct tool for you, so don't worry about that. Use the UV light on the corpse and find the trauma point. It'll glow a bright purple. Just a sec. Hmm. Strangled by hand. Very forceful. Finger marks clear, except bruise intensity indicates the killer's right-handed and missing the index finger on that hand. There must be something more. Something we're not seeing. The agent's laser works better in the dark.
poses them in grisly tableau with male department store mannequins. Mannequin always slightly disfigured by a mark on the face. Hmm. Any luck on the mug book searches? I bet the killer has the same mark. No luck so far. Becker, no smoking at a crime scene. I don't smoke. Well, someone was. It's coming from in here. Dang it. I can smell the cigarette smoke. He's right above us. Call for backup now. This is Officer Becker. We need backup immediately. Fourth and start. Potential homicide suspects still in building. Officers are on their way. ETA, 10 minutes. Copy that. Becker and I will head up the fire escape. You wait here for backup. Shit. Okay, now he's playing with us. Change of plans. Becker, secure that door. Thomas, check out the building and get these lights back on. All clear, Agent. Sooner we finish up here, the better. Let's go. Oh, and for Christ's sake, be careful. Federal agent, come out peacefully or I will use force. Oh yes, the city's full of them now, Thomas. Addicts, vagrants, psychotic individuals gone terribly bad. They come in all kinds, but mostly violent. Be careful.
Answer me! What's happened? We heard an explosion. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. It's just a fuse box shorted. I seem to be trapped over here, and I believe the suspect has my gun. What? How the hell did that happen? <sighs> here, take this fire axe and chop your way out. You can always find an entry tool somewhere around to get you past barriers. You can even use things like an axe or a sledgehammer as a weapon. They do a great deal of damage, but they're slow. Swinging a lead pipe bus heads faster if that's what you prefer. Thanks. Yeah, you need the tips. Becker and I'll go around the other way. Try and stay in one piece. Oh, and one more thing. If you find yourself in a sticky situation, use your taser to temporarily stun your target. If you're close enough, You'll find it a great way to disarm the slug of his weapon. Ah! <laughs> 
be on this end of the gun. But listen, you bastard. Don't mess this up for us. We are both on the same path of righteousness. Thomas! <coughs> and the path takes strange turns. Please, police! Drop the weapon now! Be ready for death, Agent Thomas. It shall come visiting again. <laughs> 